What's up, fellas? What's up? Whoa, a couple of y'all drinking, man. A couple of y'all drinking. This guy said he's got a buzz ball. What did he say? Just got a buzz ball from the homie at the gas station, even though I'm 18, lol. <laughs> buzz balls are fucking classic, bro. I fuck with buzz balls. I like buzz balls. They're clean. They're clean, man. Oh, I was gonna get a water. That's what I didn't get. I didn't get a fucking water. Oh, okay, so what did the guy say? He had a rum and coke on him? I could fuck with that. I could fuck with the rum and coke, bro. Rum and cokes are delicious, man. Um, let me go get a water. Let me go get a water before we start smoking. Before we start. Yeah. Yeah. How much is water out there in California? It's actually a great question. I don't know. I get my shit delivered via Amazon. <coughs> so we're cool in it. You know what I mean? We're cool in it. I'm drinking some homemade wine right now. Oh. I like that. Interrupting my Pine Park podcast for this live right now, brother. That may be some of the realest shit I've ever seen or heard, my friend. I might just have to smoke along with you, man. Oh, uh, we have... Oh, shit. There's like a tiny ass amount of weed left in here. Should I just roll up like the smallest doobie? Let's roll up like the world's smallest doobie. You know what I mean? Something small, something slight. You know what I mean? Just something real chill, bro. There's something real chill. We'll smoke some bong rips and some dabs here in a little bit, but let's just get like this little doink going, you know? Oh, there's even weed right here on the tray. There's even weed right here on the tray. We can roll up two doobies. We can roll up two. And damn. Get a couple filters. Get a couple papers. It'll be all right. Oh, I'm all out of papers. Wow. We can do this one. Yeah, just a classic raw black man. Big 26 today. Damn. 26 is chill, man. 26 is a big vibe right there. Two small doinks. We can roll up two small doinks real quick. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Red Cab on the way to Oregon for me. Whoa, guy snitching on himself. Listen, man. Red Cab is not, in fact, in Oregon, but this guy's getting it. This guy's got the red, <laughs> red cab plug. That's our Michigan shit, man. That's our Michigan wax right there. Fuck it. Sprinkle a little bit more on there. I think that should be okay. I think that should be okay. We got rid of most of it. Hey, I've been balling so damn hard. I need a sponsorship. Oh, yeah. Let me move this shit out the way. Come session Dallas with the homies. 
that's gonna be it next on this that's gonna be next on the list man we just made a video in dallas damn near um i think it's gonna be a while before i'm back there if we're gonna be honest but shit i'll definitely let you know man Got a little hair on there, I saw it. Nine to five. Alright, it's a little bit of a rough one, but you know what? It works. It's gonna smoke. That's all that matters. You yeah, Eric got a six pack of blue moon. What's your go to big? Oh, I thought that boy was flexing on us real quick. I thought you were flexing on us real quick, my friend. I got a six pack of blue moon. What's your go to beer? I mean, my go to go to? You're talking about like, I'm in a place and I just don't know what to drink? I'm talking about, I like Mexican beers a lot, man. Dos Equis, Corona, fucking. Give me a Modelo. Shit, bro. Give me all those and I'm chilling, man. Japanese beers are good. And just like the two popular Japanese ones, like the Sapporo or the Kirin. Classic. Classic. I'm not an IPA guy, man. You guys like IPAs? IPAs might be the nastiest fucking things in the world. I can't lie. If you gave me a list of the nastiest things in the world, I think IPAs might be up there. IPAs might be up there, bro. Those shits are disgusting. Shits are gross. Yeah, the shits looking a little wonky. I can't lie, but you know what? We're gonna seal it up, and it's gonna be looking chill. It's kind of circular. It's almost circular. IPAs taste like trash bag juice. That's actually a great way to put it. I would agree. I would wholeheartedly agree. That's exactly what they taste like. Come on, man. There we go. Cool. Spark it up. Spark it up. And then as this one's sparking up, we'll roll another one real quick. I do want a, a thicker thing of papers, though. Let's see if I got something over here in walking distance. Oh! Dropped all my weed, man. Dropped all my weed. Opinions on nectar collectors, bro. I fuck with nectar collectors very heavily, man. I fuck with nectar collectors very heavily. Yo, Kento got into this. I think we're okay, though. I think we're okay. See you at PuffCon, then? Yo, I'll see you at PuffCon, my good sir. Who's going to PuffCon, man? We got like less than two months, less than 60 days between now and PuffCon. Let me know if you're going to tune in. I think it's September 30th, if I'm not mistaken. September 30th, man. That's a little over a month at this point. That's like 45 days away or something. Let me know if you're sliding to PuffCon, man. Let me know if you're sliding to PuffCon. I can't wait to see you guys there. When's the new vid gonna drop? I need more SHT to watch. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. The video today, I, I choked it just because I wanted to upload a video. <coughs> <clears throat> or it like correlates with um, my second channel video and I didn't get the second channel one up on time <coughs> So I want them to like feed off of each other in a, in a way, you know what I mean? Should be a vibe <coughs> mm. I have no idea what kind of weed this is man. I think it's a weed salad I think I got like two or three different strains going on right now Should be nice man the shop by me just got busted for laced flour with meth. What was that, brother? You're fucking insane. What? What? Gothic Grims. Hey, Eric, just wanted to say thank you for inspiring me. I've been doing YouTube for almost a year now and gained almost 150 subs. That's a dub, bro. The first thousand's the hardest. First 10,000's like fucking impossible. But after that, you should be chilling, man. More strains equals more terps. Is that true? You guys putting, um... <coughs> If you guys have like two, three strains on you, are you rolling two, three different joints? Or are you rolling, are you sticking them all into one joint? You know, are you keeping the flavor separate? Or are you mixing them together in general? You know, sometimes you can't really choose. 
sometimes you got like a half gram of this a half gram of that you want to smoke a gram joint you know you got to mix them all but like if you had the option if you have an abundance of bud per se are you uh are you mixing bud all the time i feel like i rarely very 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 rarely mix bud mix like it's i really don't do it i like keeping them separate see i'm the same way mary jerry 420 wow that's a fucking name and a half dude one for joints one for bowls that's actually not a bad rule at all that's not a bad rule at all that's not that's pretty chill You gun shopping already since the charges are dropped? Nah, I'm shopping for a course near me, man. Not a course, um, like a, a instruction course, I guess. Um, like a teaching kind of area. A school, a school rather. You know what I mean? So I can get my, maybe, if not CCW, get at least some license out here. You know what I mean? You need like some license to carry out here or some bullshit in California. So as soon as that's done, as soon as that's, you know, because I'm not fucking with the law no more, bro. The law's scary. <laughs> as soon as that's all done, as soon as I'm done with the legal way, you know what I mean? Then I'll go to the shop, buy a gun or two. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. What's a good budget camera for making content? Brother, I'm not going to lie. All you really need is your phone, man. Like, you don't need anything more than your phone. You can even buy, like, an external mic if you want. There's, like, DJI mics that connect to the iPhone, bro. Just get one of those. It's, like, 100 bucks for a microphone or something, you know? Like, the iPhone quality is great. The only thing that kind of maybe sucks on it sometimes, especially if you're outdoors, is the wind noise and microphone kind of, and the sound. It's sound quality. It's, in the general, the sound quality kind of sucks. What the fuck? Someone just drove by it with the craziest bass of all time, bro. It was shaking my crib. I thought it was another earthquake. But nah, 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 nah. Um, you got it, bro. You got it. Damn, this even is less weed than the last one. Fuck it. Let's roll another one, man. Let's roll another one. He said that was me. Sorry. Don't worry about it, man. This one's even smaller than the last one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, if you got off of the arena, the vlog is not for you. Loading up another Glavi. Yo, let's go, man. That boy Julian's always smoking. That boy Julian's always smoking. I'm still fighting the case, and I got community service. Fuck cops. Do community service. Thankfully, I got, like, hooked up with an event that I can, like, do fun community service, kind of. Or it was, like, it was community service, but it was it didn't have to be, like, you know, when I think of community service, I think, like, picking up trash on the side of the road or, like, crazy, you know what I mean, long hours or something, I don't know, I was just running some, like, events giving back to the homeless, and it was fun, you know what I'm saying, it was fun, it wasn't, like, anything too crazy, I wasn't, like, hating my life or anything, you know, I'm, like, fuck, how far, like, you know, 30 hours is kind of a long time, bro, 30 hours community service, I know some people get, like, put on hundreds, but, shit, man, shit, all right, let's do this, Oh yeah. It's very uh I haven't rolled a joint with a joint in my mouth in a long time, I'm not gonna lie. What's your top five favorite rock bands slash? I'm double dipping right now. Top five rock band slash artist. Damn, bro. Top five rock bands. Um Top five rock bands. I don't even know if they're considered rock bands. I'm going no particular order. Actually, I'm going Lincoln Park number one. I don't care what you say. I'm going Lincoln Park number one. All American Rejects number two. Give me some 41 and Simple Plan, like kind of tied for third and fourth. And then I'll take like a motherfucking. Uh, I'll take like a motherfucking. Uh, give me a motherfucking. Uh, mm, give me a motherfucking. Uh, I don't know, like a fucking Hoover Stank. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like a. Damn, what's like an actual goaded ass band? Is a band multiple people, like a traditional band? How about the Naked Brothers Band? <laughs> How about them, man? Now you'd be fucking with the Naked Brothers Band. Oh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. All right, you got me on that one. You got me on that one for sure. Yeah. 
Oh, Blink-182 on Tweaking. Did I not say Blink-182? Or Green Day? Did I say Green Day? Oh, fuck. Alright. I don't even remember what I said, honestly. I actually have no idea what kind of smoke this is, but I'm excited. Just need this part to fold over. There it is. This one is a lot more attractive of a joint than the last one, that's for damn sure. This one's just a little smoother all around, you know? This one's just real smooth all around. Two doinks. Two doinks on a Sunday, man. Two doinks on a motherfucking Sunday. All right, we're chilling. Yo, Clay Tay, appreciate you coming in with the big two, though, man. Uh, five, seven, four. Thank you for coming in with the one. No video today, but there will be a reel. There will be a reel today, which is exciting. Make sure you keep an eye out for that. Should be a vibe. All right. Here we go. Oops, that was probably loud as fuck on the mic, I'm sorry. Look at this cutie little thing, man. It's like a little finger, bro. It's like a little finger, man. It's like the cutest little doink. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I really only rolled that up because it's our leftover weed. I might save that second joint, but um, we got some, we got some new weed to open up, man. We got some new weed to open up. Or maybe not even new. But. but um, we voted. I think yet last stream was it yesterday or maybe the day before that. We voted on um whether what weed we wanted to smoke. Holy shit, I'm cooked, bro. I can't even fucking think straight. We voted on what weed to smoke, and you guys did not pick this. A couple of you guys picked the planet red. But it got very much overshadowed by the Z. So now, it's time to open this shit up as soon as we finish this book. We'll be alright, man. Atomic Apple, you say? That's very nice, man. Oh, shit. Can't wait for the Pine Park meetup. Is there a way to request a song to play still? Um... Pine Park Tampa, I can't wait, dog. Any other event you plan on doing this month, Eric? This month, August, bro, I think I'm kind of chilling, man. I think I'm kind of chilling in August. Um... Am I doing anything tonight? <sighs> oh, tonight? I mean, this month. Holy shit. My fucking brain is all scrambled and shit right now. Mm, nah, I think I want to go to Europe later this month on some crazy shit. Attila's going to Turkey to, like, see his family and stuff for an extended period of time. And I was like, bro, let me slide out there with you for, like, a day or two. You know what I mean? Like, let me, I'm going to do a little Europe tour. Maybe like a week or two in Europe, probably like two weeks in Europe total. I already have the videos all planned out. We got like five or six videos ready to upload. We'll probably record more as we're over there, edit some, you know what I mean? 
It should be a fantastic time. You know that shit's legal in Germany. Go to Germany, see what's up with there. I think it'd be cool. You said, oh, shit, turkey vlog, right? And go to Istanbul. I don't even know what's going to be popping there. There's no way I'm going to drink. I mean, there's no way I'm going to smoke. Because I think it's, like, bad. But, like, I'll be smoking hookah and shit, you know? I'll smoke some hookah. I'll be taking some drinks and shit. You know what I mean? I think I think turkey should be a vibe. I think turkey should be a vibe. He said um, it's not that expensive out there either, which is cool. Which is cool. Question how much is the Alien Labs in LA? Because where I get it from, it goes for $56. How much is the Alien Labs in LA? Mm, where I get it from, it goes for 56 is that including tax or not including tax? You're probably looking at like 60 out the door or something for Alien Labs out here because it's probably between 40 and 45 on the shelf. Maybe between like 35 and 50 on the shelf, right? Depending on what shop you're getting it from, they always price it differently. But I want to say the MSRP is like probably somewhere around $40 after taxes, bro. You're probably looking at something like 50 something dollars, man. 50 something dollars. It's pretty ridiculous, man. How high are you, dude? Uh, I'm pretty stoned off this one joint. I don't really know why. We haven't taken any dabs. We haven't taken any bong rips. I've literally smoked half a joint, and I'm feeling fucking a little different, man. I'm feeling a little different. Shoot some Turkish shotguns while you're out there. All right. I haven't heard that suggestion yet, but I'm motherfucking down, dude. I'm actually really down for that. Whew. $60 without any sales slash deals. That's how it be sometimes. What's good, John Rogers 420? Will the new peak get you into the pecan? I don't see why not. I don't see why not, man. I think especially because it's a ticketed event. I think the first year or two they did it. I think it was free entry and you just had to have a Puffco. But now it's like they're charging for it. So it's like, like the first year or two was like, you know what I mean? It was for, like, the people, you know? But now that you can buy a ticket and stuff, I think they care a little bit less that you have a Puffco device. But I'm sure they still care. I don't know. Shout out to Puffco, though. <clears throat> Shout out Puffco, man. That's real shit right there. It's 710. Oh, shit, it's 710 right now in the motherfucking Texas and Chicago. That's real, man. That's real. Happy 710 to all my, all my smokers out there. All my dabbers out there. Not just smokers. Let's take a dab for that. Let's do a little, like, let's take a little dab for that, man. I'm fucking down. <clears throat> we got some of the prettiest terps out there right now. We got some treats on us right now. The sugar cookies. We might have to pull this shit out, bro. Holy fuck. Oh, my lordy lord. Brother. Oh my goodness, it smells fucking nutty, bro. Shit's kind of moving, right? Shit's kind of fucking... It's alive in there. Shout out my boy Nefs, man. That's good terps. That's good terps right there. A little bit left of the doink. Just a little bit left of the doink. Let's load up the puff coat, man. <clears throat> Let's load up the puff. These treats terps are really nice, though. I'm not going to lie. This sugar cookies has been um, really tasty. This sugar cookies has been really tasty. Oh. Okay. Okay. Got a couple dabs left of that, man. Probably got like two dabs left. Looks like my spit in the morning. Well, that's not good, man. You might have to be uh, brushing your teeth more. Maybe, I don't know, doing some more cleanses. Maybe eat some motherfucking sea moss. I don't know. If you're spitting up yellow shit in the morning, you might need to stop smoking even. Who knows, man? Think about your health, brother. Please. <clears throat> Jeez. Maybe the tobacco you're getting into. Who knows, man? Yellow shit in the morning is crazy, man. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a big boy. I want to see inside. Look at that shit, man. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Damn. Damn. Oh yeah. Oh 
yeah. Shit's deep, huh? 3D XL is deep. I'm all out of sugar wax. Big sad day. Don't even worry about it, no. Things are gonna be okay, man. <clears throat> Ow, I have like a cut on my thumb. Fuck. Fuck crazy. High as hell. Is that a bot comment? Look at that. Are you a fan of the Puffco vaporizer handheld? <coughs> I am. <coughs> I am. <coughs> Fuck. I got this water and I'm not even drinking it. What am I thinking, brother? Holy shit. Holy shit, man. Are you an Astros or a Rangers fan, Eric? <clears throat> I'm more an Astros fan. People don't like him because they cheated that one year, but I respect him even more. You know what I'm saying? They just found a way to get that W. And, um, shit, they still got the ring. It's not like it was revoked or nothing, you know what I mean? Yo, cheers, Organic Lemonade. Thanks for fucking cheering, man. Thanks for cheering, smoking. Smoking, loking, token, loking. Crash, appreciate you, man. <sighs> Do you ever get a drink, take one sip, and forget about it? Holy fuck, dude. Holy fuck, you might have just described my whole life. Like, dude, there's so many times where I'll get a beverage because it sounds immaculate. Like, it sounds so delicious, the thought of a beverage. You spend like six, seven dollars on like Starbucks or a fucking smoothie or a fucking, um, what? Like, uh, what else was I gonna say? Tea, boba, boba fucking shit's like seven bucks, bro. And you're like, oh man, this is gonna be like the most worth seven dollars ever i'm about to drink this whole thing and then you don't and then you don't and then you maybe forget about it and you want to drink it later and it's not the same it's all melted and fucking gross and shit i actually dislike it a lot i'm not gonna lie i fucking hate that <clears throat> shit happens to me way too much man shit happens to me way too much i don't even know how i don't know what i do to deserve it Fuck the blunt up. Wow, that was a nice dab, man. I'm not gonna lie. I felt it in my brain. I felt it in my brain. Deadpool review? No spoilers. I'll give it a nice little, um, not as good as the first one. Or second one? There's two, right? I think I've seen both of them. The first one's very memorable. Great movie. You know what I mean? Great movie. I don't know about this. The second one's pretty good. It's pretty good. I would even take... Nah, I don't know. There's a lot of, like, fan fiction... Not fan fiction. There damn near is fan fiction, though. It's like, there's certain scenes with the Wolverine where you're like, whoa, that's pretty sexy. Like, if I was a bigger Marvel fan, if I was a Wolverine fan, I would have been, like, coming in my pants. You know what I mean? But I don't really care for Wolverine as a superhero. Deadpool's kind of cool. I fuck with Ryan Reynolds, good actor. Uh, it was good. It was good. It was, like, on par with the second one, we'll say. You know what I mean? It was on par. I give it, like, a motherfucking... Mm. It was so long. It was, like, two hours. I feel like two and a half and three is when you really start pushing long. But, um, nah, I think two is okay. I maybe could have gotten away with like 10 or 15 minutes shaved off. I do agree, though. I do agree. Yeah, it was like an eight. A 7.8? Nah, eight's kind of high. Eight's kind of high. Eight's high as fuck. Eight's like the second movie. The first movie was damn near a nine. I can't lie. But, um, nah, they got like progressively worse. But the Wolverine parts are pretty cool. Um, they're all stabbing each other and shit. It's pretty fire, actually. You know what? Maybe we will increase it to an eight just because... I like the action scenes a lot. The uh, like the violent little, the crazy little scenes are pretty nice. They're uh, they're pretty up there. I like. It. Yeah, it's cool. And he sh like shouts out Disney a couple times. You know they always break the fourth wall and shit. Classic Deadpool. <clears throat> it was cool. It was cool. Um, I increase it to an eight. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten is what I'm giving. It. Yeah. Best scenes were the fights. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Does your THC drink stay good longer in the fridge? Um, probably. I think most things stay Going longer in the fridge, right? Next week from Mars. What brands do I need to get while I'm out there? Mm. Everything not shitty besides Al slash C. 
Damn, you gotta cop some Mountain Man melts. My boy Jace is based down there. You gotta cop some, um, I mean, cop some 710, obviously. Cop some Trilogy. Cop some, let's see what kind of flowers out there. Cop some Blueprint. Cop some Green Dog. Cop some motherfucking, people like Doja. People love Doja. Um, this flower smokes like half the time for me. But the half that it's smoking, it's smoking. You know what I mean? Shit's smoking. Um, let's see what else is out there. Cam is pretty good. If you want to buy like a good amount at a time, if you want to buy like an ounce at a time, get a cam ounce. If you, uh, let's see what other flowers are there. Pine Park, obviously. Wait, there's Pine Park in like two places in San Diego. I think Mankind San Diego for sure. Definitely get some Pine Park. Um, I'm not sure what strain we'll have. Maybe Grape Nuts. We're always sold out, to be honest with you. Pine Park is kind of... It's kind of sold out, you know what I mean? We just dropped in Florida, and we're already sold out, but, like, you know, we're restocking, you know what I'm saying? But, like, when we say sold out, we're just saying that all of the stores have bought our product, you know? We're not, we're still on shelves, perhaps, but it's off our hands, you know what I mean? It's on to the shit, it's just on the stores to sell that shit, so, um, we'll see what's good. Tell Goldflower to drop more now. Oh, shit, man, look, Unidirectional needs some more Pine Park. We got you, brother. We fucking got you on that Pine Park, my good sir. Favorite Michigan brands? I haven't really smoked that much Michigan, if we're going to be honest. Like, if we're going to be a 100%, every single time I go out there, I smoke a fuckload of Pine Park, and that's about it. And, like, I like going to the shops just to see what the packaging's looking like, just to see what the stores are looking like. But I don't really consume a lot of it, which I need to. I just need to, I just need to get out there. I just need to get out there but like when i go out there like there's joints already rolled people are just handing me joints you know from the squad not random people i don't really smoke random people's joints but like you know people from from the team people from the pine park team they're getting joints rolled they're handing me joints that's what i'm smoking so it's like i don't even have time to smoke anything else like i'm constantly smoking for like the two days in there and then um shit you know what i'm saying like the last time we were there like the last time i was in florida I just smoked like 60 strains in two days for pine park it's like I wish, like I wish I got the chance to fucking smoke some other shit. But like I was working, you know what I mean? I was working. I was trying to narrow down the strains a little bit. I think we narrowed it down to like five or ten. And then the next time I'm there, we're going to smoke those ten and then try to pick some off of there. So that's reasonable. I think I can get through ten strains in a day easily. And then the next day can be dedicated to like other brand shit. You know what I mean? Let's see what else is out there. See if it's worth the prices that people are paying. Not sure. Goldflower went hard with Pine Park, Florida. Shout out Goldflower, man. That's incredible. That is incredible, man. Will Pine Park come to Illinois? Ooh. Illinois is an interesting one. Chicago's dope, bro. The more I think about Chicago, the more I'm just like, wow, Chicago's one of the dopest cities out there, no doubt. I love that shit, man. I love that shit. We were going to see episode 100 of Pine Park after dark. It is on Spotify. Um, the audio is on Spotify. But, um, yeah, it was uploaded for a little bit. It got taken down, um, not by us. So, like, you know, hey, it's not my call, bro. I wish Pine Park could be uploaded on, like, I wish episode 100 could be uploaded. But, um, nah, someone, I think someone got it taken down, which is unfortunate. But it's cool. I understand. You know what I mean? I understand. Um, but the audio is on Spotify. The audio is on Spotify, though, um, which is cool. You know what I mean? Tell Hunter to smoke with me. Ooh, tell Hunter to smoke with me. He's watching. Hey, that's real shit, man. That's real shit right there. Hey, Con, do you have any? You have an extra Puffco? Um, I don't have an extra Puffco. I gave away the Puffcos that I had, man. I had like three extra ones. I already gave them away. I should announce when I give them away, though, so people stop asking. But don't worry. Keep asking, because maybe I'll have more in the future, you know? At the very least, I might have some dab pens or, you know, might have something to fucking give away, which is exciting. Which is very exciting. Ah, oh, my eyes! Holy shit. Hey, I need to text my homie real quick, because I'm trying to plan a little trip. Hey, Eric, reply to me in the chat, nigga. Whoa, what the fuck, man? God, we got to ban that guy. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yo. <clears throat> Hang on, I just gotta get this redone real quick. Um, what dates were these? Hmm. 
<clears throat> there we go. Holy shit. That took me so long to send that text. I was just like, wait, I reworded it like three times. I am fucking yeet. Let's get another dab in, shall we? Wait, dab or bong rip? Dab or bong rip? What are we thinking, man? And yeah, shout out to you going to San Diego, Jacob. Diego's one of my favorite places. Honestly, San Diego's better than Los Angeles. It just so happens that it's fucking a little bit further. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much awesome. I hate when that happens. That's what I'm saying, right? Dab, 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 bong, fucking both. We are going to do both. Don't worry, don't worry. We are going to do both by the end of the stream. But which one should we do first? I'm asking which one we should do first. What do you got for? Yep, girl, I know. Fat dab. Yup, get that fat dab in, man. <clears throat> Bong, my guy. Um, Dab first. Bong first. I think it's pretty much 50 50. I'm not sure if I'm just fucking silly and I can't even read this shit right now. All right, I see more dabs. All right, I see more dabs. I've officially seen more dabs. I just needed to count, like, in my mind. Yep, I saw it. I saw it. We're going to smoke possibly some of the stinkiest herps I've ever stunk in, in my life. Bro, when I tell you this shit stinks, when I tell you this grape Tahoe is pure stank, I fucking mean it, bro. This stash right here is just fucking... Oh... I love the smell. I love the smell so much. That Tahoe OG and that grape is coming through insane, man. In a long time. Half a like a third one. Third time. Yo, girl, I know. Going to Turkey, too. How crazy is it to bring a disposable? Oh, shit. I wouldn't do all that, bro. I don't know. I'm scared. But you tell me, bro. You do it. You do it, and you let me know. Shit. And next time I go, I think it should be a vibe. Hold him on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm scared, but we got to push the frontier. Damn, we got to put the locals on, man. Just go to random places and get the locals high as fuck. <gasps> Yo, my Puffco atomizer just broke. Oh, my. All right, we got to switch to that. We gotta, we're going to switch to this one. What if this one did it, too? Oh, shit, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yo, imagine my atomizer just fucking shit itself. That'd be insane, dude. Shit itself live. We just smoked out of it, man. We just smoked out of it. I feel like I just need to unscrew it and screw it back in again, but we'll see, man. God damn. Shit, man. Cop me a Benjamin Key Bob. Not gonna lie, nice. the easiest way to sneak in some fire into hard summer. Cheers, buddy. <coughs> Yo, cheers, bro. <coughs> <coughs> That's facts. <coughs> <coughs> I do think it is the easiest way to sneak some shit in, no doubt. Man, I can't lie. That's pretty fucking intense. <clears throat> Ooh, 
Yo, what the fuck, dude? I cannot believe how stoned I am right now. Is there any new cannabis news going on, man? What's, um, I feel like, you know what I mean? I feel like we haven't checked the news in a couple of weeks. Is there any bangers going on? Unknown compounds found in marijuana testing samples. Holy shit. Unknown compounds? We're literally smoking on just random shit. We're smoking on the unknown. I respect that. Michigan cannabis operator charged with importing illegal THCA? <gasps> <clears throat> Trump touches on legal marijuana, says he'll weigh in, quote, soon on Florida adult use. Okay, now he, um, said during an extended news conference, he'll weigh in fairly soon on the Sunshine State legalization effort. The um, thing he is to agree a lot more. Wait, wait. But while the 45th president said Thursday that he is starting, quote, to agree a lot more with legal marijuana. <laughs> He stopped well short of saying anything definitive on the issue. Don? Donald? <clears throat> Shit. Amendment 3, man. Amendment 3 is going on. There we go. He said he's starting to like it. He's starting to like it. Kiraleaf swap CEO stakes out new 280E tax position. Oh, new CEO. Long-time leading figure in the marijuana executive chair is now the CEO. Imagine getting promoted to CEO. That's pretty clean. That's pretty clean, man. That's pretty fucking crazy, honestly. Um, I feel like that's big news right there. Alabama to award two medical cannabis grow licenses despite stalled processes. That's sick. Shout out Alabama, man. Smoking weed in Alabama sounds insane. Missouri regulators recall 2,600 cannabis products over improper testing. Wow. That was pretty quick, man. Ohio's adult use sales launch gets off to really special start. Whoa. Hold on. Hold on. Look at her, man. She's hype. Leslie Seymour makes the first recreational cannabis purchase at Cureleaf Newark. Oh, geez. Cureleaf is everywhere, huh? Dozens of medical cannabis dispensaries in Ohio on Tuesday began selling adult use products, ushering in a new era for the state and another potential billion dollar market in the Midwest. Mm. Mm. The final green light was given to 98 stores earlier in the day when the Department of Commerce Division of Cannabis Control issued dual use certificates of operation to those businesses. What 98 stores are we talking about? I like that. 98 dispensaries, man. That's pretty sick. What did she buy? Oh, I wish it said. Um, I wish it said. She just has... Ah, uh, she's just reaching in her purse right here. Market Watch. Other retailers and strain in the demanded but licensed market includes several multi-state operators, including Ayer and Varango Holdings. Verano Holdings? I feel like I've heard of Verano. Oh, locally grown operators such as Clutch and Queen City Cannabis. All right, if you're in Ohio, if you're in Ohio, whether this cannabis is good or not, I feel like we got to support these guys, right? These are this Clutch Cannabis and Queen City Cannabis. Hang on, hang on. Let's see. Let's see. These locally. Yeah, the local men, the, the local Ohioans. That's what we need, bro. Our vision is to define something, something Queen City. Wait, is that Ohio? Ohio looks pretty chill, bro. <coughs> they have concentrates, flowers, topicals. Look, they sell puffcos, bro. Wait, am I looking at the right place right now? I might not be looking at the right place. About us. Oh, yeah. Queen City Cannabis Dispensaries in Ohio. Discover more. Welcome to the future. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful. You can search. Order online. Hell yeah, is what I'm looking for right here. Let's see what the prices are looking like in Ohio, man. Sorry, I'm going to put this over here just in case it uh, shows anything. We're good. All right, we're good. We're fucking good, baby. We're fucking good, baby. Let's fucking do some Ohio weed shopping, bro. Ohio weed, man. What do they got for us, dude? What do they got for us? Everyday bulk deals. Buy a half ounce or more and get 10% off. Or buy an ounce or more and get 20% off. Ooh. Okay. Okay, hang on. They got different deals and shit. Do you think Pine Park will ever Curbside pickup. 
Do you think Pine Park will ever get to Missouri dispensaries? Missouri seems like a play, man. I'm not going to lie. Missouri seems like a cool play. Our ATM is currently down. Please bring cash. We apologize for the inconvenience. Oh. Oh. They got deals. Medical card holders only. Oh. What do they got for us, man? 2.83 grams of flour for $50. Huh. Why the fuck is it measured like that? 28.3 grams of Donnie Burger. Hold on. Mini flowers. Hmm. Ooh, it's included in the special today. You can get 10% off. That's 20 bucks, brother. That ain't bad. Popular vapes, popular edibles, popular concentrates. They got live sauce. 0.85 grams of diamonds. Ohio, what's up with your weights, man? What's up with your weights, Ohio? 1.68 grams of live butter. Fucking Cresco as well at that. <clears throat> That's insane. Oh, oh, Clutch, Clutch Cannabis. Oh, my God, they have rosin. Bro, nah, nah, nah. If you're in Ohio, nah, bro. Nah, bro. I'm about to take a flight to Ohio. No cap. I'm about to take a flight to Ohio and just support this brand just because I respect that. Just because I respect that. Is this really a local brand and they're making rosin? That's so fire. Look, they got flour and shit, bro. They got the good packaging. Look at their battery, man. They got a branded battery. Oh, shit. That shit's looking insane right there. CO2 pod. Holy shit. You're smoking on carbon. That's actually insane. Clutch Cannabis, Ohio. I like that. Clutch Cannabis, Ohio. Here we go. Founding in 2020 in Akron. Bro, this is like some LeBron shit, man. If you support Clutch, you support LeBron. Hand trimmed? Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. And they got some crazy strains. I mean, obviously, ice cream cake is a classic. What the fuck is Epris? Orange 43? Ah, oh, LCG. Fuck. Rainbow belts? Classic. Sherb head? Heat locker? They have fucking catfish, brother. They have catfish. They have Mac 1. They got it all. Hang on. What kind of concentrates do they have, brother? Live resin, live diamonds, and sauce. And they have the solvent list. Ugh. Wait, whoa. They have hash rosin and then jam. Another one of our best selling concentrates. Cold cured live hash rosin made by pressing a yeah, specific curing cinnamon and whipping it to the desired consistency. The resulting concentrate is usually milky white to blonde in color and can range in appearance and consistency. Soft, flaky crumble. Blah, 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 blah. As far as concentrate go, this is about as close to the plant as it gets. But wait, what do they have here? Like our cold cure, our live hash rosin jam is first made by pressing micron. And da -ba -da -ba. However, a different curing technique is employed at this stage to transform the consistency of the concentrate into something more resembling a partially translucent jam or live resin. That's very interesting. So this is still hash. It's still cold. It's not cold cured, but it's still hash rosin. The curing process renders a true to plant flavor profile, but may also bring out or accentuate some of the more unique characteristics of the starting material. The resulting concentrate is smooth, easy to handle, and packed with flavor. They say this like it's a bad thing, though. <clears throat> but may also bring out or accentuate some of the more unique characteristics of the starting material. They're saying like you're going to get more plant material out of this is what they're saying. I don't know. That's crazy, though. They got everything here, bro. They got everything here at Clutch. The Citizen by Clutch. Oh, shit. They got their own dispensary now? Yes, I am. Canton, Ohio or Lorraine, Ohio? What's Canton, Ohio like? Oh, dude, flights to Canton are four and a half hours and only $178. Oh, shit, Canton, the Pro Football Hall of Fame Canton. Wait, I might have to fucking tune in, bro. This is lit. And William McKinley's tomb is there. That's like the two things that it's known for. <laughs> the Hall of Fame. It's got a population of 69,000. Nice. Akron's got a population of 200,000. Wait, this is... How big is this town, bro? This shit's tiny. Oh, you really fly into Akron and then drive down here, I bet. That's crazy, brother. McKinley Presidential Library and Museum. Just, like, raid his shit. President McKinley was chill, I guess. Hills and Dales? Bro, who's in San Antonio right now, man, that knows about Hills and Dales? Only real ones know about Hills and Dales, bro. That's crazy. 
All right, anyway, let me shop non-medical like Canton, man. There's Kiva here. How do you do cannabis? Let me get those extracts, brother. Let me get some rosin. What kind of flavors y'all got? What kind of flavors y'all got? Hold on, the lemon slushy, and it's $70. That's not the worst thing ever, man. That's not the worst fucking thing ever. I fuck with that. Yeah, I fuck with that, man. <clears throat> Live diamonds and so diamonds, 50 bucks. It looks like their hash rosin goes for 70. Their resin goes for 40 to 50. Hang on, we got a $60 gram of hash rosin. That's even good for motherfucking California, dude. That's even good for California. They got a lot of hash rosin, bro. Permanent marker hash, papaya hash, ice cream cake. Oh, wait. Oh, this is full spectrum hash rosin. So they're 90 to 159, which I feel like is pretty much full spectrum. I mean, I guess they're not taking the 73, but that's interesting. This is probably like a second press as well or something like that. Hang on. They got live resin waxes for $44. Oh, fuck. They got moon rocks. <laughs> They got moon rocks, brother. Oh, here we go. 90 to 159. Okay. See, here we go. Here's a 73 to 159, which is pretty much full spectrum. Like, that's about as full spectrum as you can get, right, hash makers? Or am I tweaking? I think other than that, that's like food grade. But they're chilling, bro. I'd buy it. I'd support this brand any motherfucking day, bro. Shout out Clutch Cannabis, man. Shout out Clutch Cannabis. They're really doing it. This might be the best brand. I haven't even seen Ohio yet. And no glaze. This might be the best brand out in Ohio. They even got a rewards. Become a citizen today. That's actually hilarious. The Citizens Club. 4% cash back? Holy shit. It's actually unbelievable. All right. Well, Ohio's lit, man. Locally grown operators. There we go. Fuck Verano. Fuck Air. I don't even know what Air Wellness is, bro. Together we create wonder. Look, publicly traded in shit. Get that out of here, man. Get that out of here, bro. Brands, how many brands do these fools have? Oh shit, Sticks, Levia, Origin, Kind. Why do they spell everything like that? Origin, Kind, Steaks, Entourage, Road Tripper. Damn, they really just have a shitload of brands and just fucking interested in parting with us. Fuck you. Look how, look how, careers, investors, bro. Look how like disgusting this fucking. Oh, wow, look. The most PG picture of a plant that you can get. Like, bro, look at the... Hang on. That's crazy, bro. <clears throat> Actually, like, hang on. Look at the fucking difference between these homepages, bro. Like, hang on. Even, even going back to this one. Look at this homepage right here. Look at all the weed, people hand trimming, like, bro, it's just shots of bud, all of hash, rosin, bro. Like, look at the difference between this homepage and this homepage. Bro, are you, what the fuck is, what? Like, the most corporate Chad fucking, we don't really smoke weed ever. We believe in a better world. What is this? What is this? What, what is this website, bro? What is this website? This is insane. The most bland fucking packaging. Like, even the most... Br like, look at their building, bro. Just... Fuck this brand, bro. Fuck this brand. These fools don't smoke. You can tell when a brand doesn't smoke. Like, this brand is just here to collect a check. You know what I mean? This is like a bunch of people, probably from tobacco, probably from other... Probably from alcohol... This is like other industries that are trying to take advantage of weed and they don't even know how to do it. Like they just have a fuckload of money and they're like, yo, let's create a website. Let's create a fuckload of brands and like, let's just sell everything. And like, look how they market it, bro. They don't even smoke, so they don't know how to sell it. Like, look at this homepage. But look at this one with motherfuckers that smoke. Look at the people that actually smoke that are like proud of their product. You know what I mean? Bro. Are you seeing this right now? Are you seeing what I'm seeing right now, man? I kind of just want to stay on this homepage, bro. <clears throat> These are like, yeah, man. These are people that are like, yeah, look at this. Like, you can still get the family community. You can still get, like, the homely vibe. You know what I mean? Grown in Akron. You know what I mean? You can still get, like, the story behind it. Look, you can still get some, 
some personifiable characters and really feel connected to the brand without being too corporate and like you know look at that look at that look at this shout out clutch man. shout out motherfucking clutch cannabis that's awesome yeah true leave too bro let's go to true leaves website right let's go to <clears throat> let's see if true leave is any better bro i mean they're a little bit better bro I have to do all this. Damn, they're not even in California anymore. You know, you don't, you know, they didn't even survive. They didn't survive where it mattered. And they're trying to fucking, wow, that's disgusting. They're actually in Ohio. Fuck it, Ohio. I am. I mean, they, they kind of understand it, you know? They, they don't really understand it, but they've been in the game so long that they're like, they used to look like this other website. They used to look like Air Wellness. And it still almost has that, but at least they're showing products now. They literally had someone come to their boardroom and tell them exactly what I'm telling them. They're like, yo, this website's fucking ass. You got to show the product. You got to show people enjoying it, blah, blah, blah. And you can still see that sense of like. <laughs> Look at a photo. Like, it's, it's chill. You know what I mean? It's chill. It's, it's, it's a better website, no doubt, than the other one. <clears throat> Meet the growers. There you go. That's a good way to start. classic classic is that a rave look at him go look at him fucking go it's beautiful diversity and inclusion there you go it's cool it's whatever fuck yeah i don't know about true leaf man about as corporate as it gets you know what i mean we gotta we gotta support the local growers type shit man support the homies for real clutch began sales at 10 a.m eastern on tuesday with customers lining up outside of both locations packed for hours i expect this continue into the evening especially after people get out of work damn that's awesome man shout out to um man shout out to ohio bro that's incredible shout out to oh look they even have a paid ad section right there top five thca flowers that were bought top five edibles top five best top 12 female cannabis seeds damn these are all just paid spots i wonder how much they charge like yo we'll pay you 50 bucks to get into this spot you write a quick article, 250 bucks. You know what I mean? Not bad. Is the future of cannabis in Europe? Q&A with Bloomwell CEO, Nicolas. Is it? <clears throat> Bloomwell Cannabis? Is it cannabis? Oh, it's not cannabis. Bloomwell Group launches Germany's largest medical cannabis program oh okay that's what it is i was gonna say nicholas doesn't really sound like an uh, american name i guess it's nicholas technically but well now serves the centralized digital infrastructure for medical cannabis distribution therapy and dispensing including speedy delivery services that are the first of its kind in germany wait whoa bringing prescription to patients homes within 24 hours this guy's doing it right now Hang on, I want to I read more about him. How do you become CEO of this company? Holy shit, it's all in fucking German. This is insane. Oh, oh. He went to school 2015-2016, student group. Oh, shit. That was just his education, huh? Holds a master's degree in management, is a serial entrepreneur. Oh, wait, he's got a Rolling Stone little article. Oh, bruh, bruh, why is everything fucking paywalled, man? The internet is disgusting. This ain't the internet that I used to know, man. Oh, wait, rollingstone.com. Go find our Boonwell group. One of the largest kind of is going to read his full executive profile. I bet you it's going to take me to that bullshit. Oh, my. I just want to learn more. I just want to learn more. You know what I mean? Ice Spice? Oh. <gasps> Ice Spice on the cover of Rolling Stone? Aw, oh, hell yeah. That's gas. I fuck with that. A European medical cannabis pioneer. All right, man. I want to shake this guy's hand. I'm trying to fucking shake this guy's hand. He said, damn, still streaming, bro? It's only been an hour. It's only been an hour. But we are about to hop out this bitch. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We are going to drop a reel here in a little bit. If you can let me know. Um, what you think about it? I would appreciate it. Let me know what you think about it. Chat GBT him. Oh. Oh, shit. 
you might be honest something. Damn, I'm just trapped in the past, man. I ain't chat GBT and shit. That's what I need to do, huh? Fuck me. Appreciate you guys tuning in. We're gonna. Oh yeah, we gotta open the flower, man. We gotta open the flower. If you stuck around to the end, this is what you stuck around for. This is what you stuck around for. The planet red. The planet red. Ooh. Ooh. It's just a rental. Ride it like a rental. It's looking like some marijuana to me, man. It's looking like some marijuana cannabis to me. I like that. I like that a lot. It's just a rental. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's it smell like? Hmm. Hang on, let me... Let me grind it up. I feel like you get a lot of the smell when you grind it up. And then, um, and then you know, get that... Open up the grinder at the end. You get that little whiff. You get that initial whiff, man. Oops. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Hang on. Ooh, it does smell like bananas, bro. It does get that banana OG in. I don't know if it's banana. It's apples and bananas, but I don't really smell apples. I don't know what red pop is. I'm getting a little bit of nanner. I fuck with nanners, though. Very heavily. Next time you game, you should try out the finals. Dope game. Damn, is the finals catching on? I thought like I was playing the beta and shit way back in the day, and I was telling people to get on it. And I feel like it didn't really catch on, but shit, if people are back on the finals, I'm down. The game's lit. Game's actually lit. Oh shit! <clears throat> all right, cheers, everybody. This is gonna be the last bong rip of the stream. Thank you all so much for tuning in, smoking along with me. You are all the absolute best. I'll see you soon. See you later. Stay safe. Stay sexy. And I will see you soon. Dab me up. Oh, oh my goodness, there it is, there it is, oh, <laughs> I love you guys, I'll see you soon, uh, we have a real drop in in like 10 minutes, if you could drop a like on it, let me know if you get a notification, if not, fuck me and my ass, fuck you too, bye, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Video coming tomorrow, and it's a bang. Peace. I love you. Have a good one, everybody. Let's go. I want her home.